Hey guys, it's Lily and you're watching Simply Lily. If you are new to my channel, hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a four hacks or tips for people that have scoliosis or a back brace. Now, I haven't done a proper video in a while, so sorry about that. My last video was a vlog and that was because I couldn't really think of an idea to do um, for something that isn't to do with um, bracing or scoliosis as that was the video that I was going to be doing that week. And I also had quite a few assignments and exams on so I was just studying for that and I was too stressed out to try and think of something so I thought why not a vlog because I had to get a video up because I had already missed a week. Yeah, confusing, I know, sorry, that's the main thing is I'm sorry, it will hopefully not happen again, I'm hopefully going to be getting back into the routine, and I'm just wearing this bandana because my hair is so weird today and I need to straighten it because I'm going out soon. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing a video that is going to be giving you guys hacks or tips, I don't know what you call them, I think they're more just tips or whatever, anyway. Um, that will help you if you are getting a back brace or you've just found out you have scoliosis or you have scoliosis and you just need some new tips that will help you. Um, I found these tips help me a lot and I thought I would share them with you guys. If you guys didn't know, I do have scoliosis which basically means I have a curve in my spine. If you'd like to know more about that, I will um, link the video about that down below. Um, it's called the second component to my channel. Um, but yeah, that explains a little bit more about what I'm going through and yeah, anyway, that's really all I have to say So I'm just gonna get into the video. So let's go The first tip is got to do when you are going somewhere and you either have to get out of your brace or in your brace And you need to like put your brace somewhere um, is to have a duffel bag This is like a massive duffel bag, but it fits everything really well It's from sports girl, but I'm pretty sure country road sells them as well. I know um, even Kmart sells them now. So yeah, these are this is really good. It's big, but it fits my brace and it can also fit a few other things if you need to put more in there. Um, I use it for when I'm getting changed out of PE at school and I have to put my brace in something. This bag holds everything as our sport bag for school isn't big enough. Um, no, but I found it really good and if you guys, even if you're going um, on a plane somewhere and you want to put your brace in something, this bag is so good. It's like light as, so when you put the brace in it's not going to be too heavy. And yeah, so. number two is a hack to do with planning. Now planning I hate. Seriously, it's one of my pet peeves. I hate planning, but it's a part of life and you have to do it. So I suggest if you're like me, or even if you just need some help, is to get a planner board. This is from Kmart, it's just blue, and it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the way down to Sunday. And as you can see, I'm just gonna show you closer. This is what it looks like. And I have planned everything on there. So um, the hours are going to be wearing my brace. So if I don't wear it to school, I need to put the hours in so that I can figure out how to get to my 18 hours. Um, then I do some exercises. So I write in what time I'm doing my exercises. And if I have sport, then I write what time I have sport. And I find it helps really well so that I'm not sitting there like, okay, I need to do this with my brace, I need to do that with my exercises and try and figure it all out and then the plan doesn't work and you end up not getting to your hours or you end up not doing something that you're meant to be doing. So I definitely recommend getting a planner board. Um, you can, there's heaps of different types you can get. You can get like bigger ones that do like a month, but I like doing just a week and it comes with these magnets and it comes with pens so that you can write on and rub off. Number three is got to do with being comfortable. So this is for when you are going to sleep and you have to wear your back brace. Now I know lots of people, people do different things. Some people use a lot of cushions to keep them comfortable while wearing their brace to bed. Sorry my dog's scratching on my door. Sorry about that. Some people also use um, like no cushions, they just use a normal pillow. To me, I found a normal pillow didn't work because my brace would be elevated, so it would be my bed and then it would be my pillow. My brace would be elevated a little bit and I didn't like that, so I was like, okay, I need to do something else. So I ended up getting one of these pillows. I just call it a boomerang pillow. Um, probably like an Australian term. Um, but otherwise, just a U-shaped pillow. It's like those aeroplane ones that you use on an aeroplane, but they're massive. 
and I got it from Kmart and it works so well so when I'm going to sleep I like put my head like in between like this oh no I don't want to hit my painting thing um so I just put my head in between like that and I sleep I lie and it's so good because when I turn onto my side I have all this space and I just I get comfy and I can like like I don't know like no it's just like so comfortable and I find it works really well with a brace the last tip is got to do with planning once again and um, it does revolve a binder now this is just a binder that my physio gave me because um, they help I have two physios that I go to um, and they help me with my exercises and they gave me this so it's just a binder and inside it has like a planner so yes another plan I know um, but I'm horrible at planning, so I definitely need one of these. I This is... Oh, no. So basically, inside, if you can see that, it has the week. This is one of the sheets that are out of it, and my physio makes these for me. So basically, it has my name on it, and then it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then underneath it has the date. So this is from October, I haven't got um, a new one yet, I definitely need to get a new one. Basically you're going to want to make a table like online, so on Word or something, you can get your parents to help you if you don't know how to do that. My physio just makes them up for me and then I just put them in my binder. But basically on the side it has everything that you meant to do. So up here it says my name and then it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way up to Sunday. Underneath my name it says exercises. And then there's a little box under each day of the week and I either write yes or no. And if I've done my exercises, I write yes. If I haven't, I write no. Under that, it says time in brace. And I write the hours because my physio does like to know how many hours I'm wearing my brace for so that she can have an understanding if my back is like improving or not. So, and then under that, it says other. So other is for if you have had something on and you don't wear your brace for the full hours you need to or if you have sport or if your back is hurting you can write that underneath and so when you show your physio or you show your person your specialist or whoever you go to um, you can show them and they can go okay your back is hurting what caused that how do we fix it um, okay you didn't wear your hours for didn't wear your brace for these hours today why is that and then you can they have a better understanding and how you're going instead of sitting there trying to explain everything day by day and then and then you forgetting it's just a little way to make sure you remember everything you are doing okay so this is a close-up of the table if any of you wanted to make it it's a pretty easy table and as you can see it's pretty self-explanatory okay so that is all for today i really hope you guys liked this video and i hope if you guys um hopefully you guys got some tips out of this um yeah so this really helps me be able to like get through this experience you know the pillow really helps the bag really helps everything really helps and i just want it um to be a better experience for you guys or if you guys are finding it hard or you just want some new tips because always having new tips is always like a good thing then definitely use one of these you know if they don't work for you that's fine but i find they work for me anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time so bye